Okay, pretty much I scraped as much as I'm going to scrape off this tank. You can see I scraped all the way up to the top around the crown of the cylinder. I found more pitting than I would like to see. Um, here's a big group of them. And if I take my pick, pick gets stuck. Let me rotate this around a little bit. And here we have a couple larger pits right here, here as well. Uh, I can rotate it some more. And there's another group. Get a little bit closer so you can see that. You see how, um, how much metal is missing. Big old craters in there. Not necessarily what I want to see on a cylinder in for hydro. Here's, here's a deep one. Got a large. And here's some more. And here's another group. So, conclusion, it's a condemned cylinder, not worthy of hydro testing. Um, now, keep in mind, if you are working in the industry and a tank like this comes in for a visual inspection, that paint's got to go before you even look inside the tank, because you may not even need to look inside the tank. Um, and if you own a tank like that, it's got to get scraped. And if your dive center doesn't scrape it, you might want to do it yourself. It all depends, uh, the dive center, if they'll even scrape it for you. I do it. I don't have a problem with it. I kind of have fun doing it. Uh, let's say this cylinder was a pass and there was no pitting. To finish up all this oxidation that's on the exterior, I typically take a wet sponge, use some soapy water on it. Get a bottle with some water. Give some soapy water spray, take a wet sanding sponge, sand down the oxidation that remains, and just give it a wipe with any old rag to remove. And you can see the wet sanding sponge does a nice finish job on the uh, aluminum uh, compared to this side where you can see there's still a lot of white oxidation uh, oxidation stuck to the cylinder and after the sanding sponge you can see it gets really smooth to the touch and you can see that most of that oxidation is gone um, but again that's if the tank is a pass this one is not a pass again this was a blistered paint cylinder aluminum cylinder 80 cubic foot uh, in for a hydro test and unfortunately we found some pitting so uh, it's a no-go or it's going to be a condemned cylinder and at this point it's really aluminum scrap Thanks for watching. This is scuba tech of Key Largo Doing a uh, exterior visual inspection on a, an aluminum cylinder. Thanks again